So she was worried her man was seeing somebody else after he disappeared on New Year's Eve. We confirmed the suspicion with our War of the Roses. So what was the fallout? We call this follow-up Thursday. If there is ever a storyline on the Burt Show and you're like, what the heck happened with that? Email us. We will do the recon for you and try to get answers. So Abby, can you give us the recap, please? I can. So this was a story that we did back in January. And on New Year's Eve, Sandra went with her boyfriend to a house party with his friends. And as soon as she walked in, she felt so uneasy. Her boyfriend didn't introduce her to anyone there and then the moment before the ball dropped he completely disappeared and he ended up apologizing and he blamed it on being drunk but sandra just was not buying his story so we tested him with a war of the roses and proved that sandra's intuition proved to be correct her boyfriend picked my one new love dot 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 burgundy ranunculus mixed with mariposa carnations a passionate gift for the new love of your life and it was sent to another woman with delivery to a business address and the note on the card read looking forward to a new year full of new things Sandra was furious and wanted to pop up at the business address she was even prepared to start selling his stuff so did she ever confront her boyfriend mom I'll let you read this uh, update please hi Bird Show I'm really sorry for not reaching back out with an update oh girl no you don't have to this is on us <laughs> <laughs> but I think you'll realize why soon I hope after reading this you don't think too badly of me because I took revenge, and it may have been a step too far. Oh, this is going to be good. I am- <laughs> <laughs> you got I, your pop going? I'm in a messy mood this morning. <laughs> like, I want her to mess stuff up. I immediately confronted my boyfriend about what I had learned. He denied everything. I was shocked at how easily he lied and made excuses. He told me that there was no Ava to send flowers to and acted confused about what I was telling him. Definition of gaslighting. Mm-hmm. So... I pulled out the podcast episodes and played them for him. He started calling me crazy. Mm. He accused me of going on a morning radio show just to humiliate him and lie. Call it gaslighting. <laughs> I cannot believe that the man I had loved for years was gaslighting oh, me. Oh, I called oh, look it. Look at that. <laughs> I, I, I swear I had it. <laughs> he continued to deny everything and started to even act like he was concerned about my sanity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this play in the playbook is just <laughs> so gnarly. At that point, there was nothing more to be said. He slept on the couch. And I slept in a bed for a couple of nights. A few days later, he approached me with flowers. He told me he was so sorry about being so combative and asked me if I had calmed down. Oh, my God. Damn. I completely I, lost it. Like you said the other day, you tell somebody to calm down. It's the last mm-hmm. thing they do. There's being nobody sensed. in the history of being told to calm down that actually calmed down. But only on the inside. On the outside, I accepted his flowers and agreed with him when he told me again that this was all a big misunderstanding. That afternoon, I found a new, amazing apartment and scheduled the movers to get me out of this place that he had ruined. My only problem was that I'd be forced to live with him for two whole weeks while I waited for the moving date. I started planning immediately. I googled, best revenge for a cheating ex, (laughs) and wrote down my favorite ideas. Since he had decided to gaslight me so terribly, I was going to do the same to him. First... I sent out a rush order for a bunch of prints of this big, beautiful photo we took together that's hanging right in the front of the hall. Every morning before he got up, I would take out the photo from the day before and replace it with a new one where his eyes and nose were edited a centimeter bigger. (laughs) I did this for eight days, and he never said anything. But I did notice him look at it strangely on the last day. I knew I I had to up the ante. Next... I super glued the caps to his shaving cream and deodorant so he couldn't get them open. <laughs> Every time he complained and brought a new one, I'd just do it again. <laughs> the last bit is the worst. The last four days with him, I bought a recording device on Amazon and set it up through my phone. I cut a hole in the back of our fabric headboard and sewed it inside. At 3 a.m., a recording would start to whisper. I said things like, I know what you did. <laughs> or, cheater, cheater. <laughs> and even... You look really stupid when you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he, woke me, he woke me up once after it had played, terrified. I told him I hadn't hear, heard anything and to go back to sleep. Every day, would wake up paler than before. Secretly, I was loving it. The very last Friday, I told him that I wanted to surprise him with an overnight date at one of our favorite cabin getaways in the mountains. He seemed so stressed. And I wanted to, I wanted to reconnect, is what I told him. So... I, I was, I thought like, eh, this is, this is light. 
But when you add all of them to all of them together, you're just slowly chipping away at his his sanity. Mm. Well, I'm starting to believe that maybe she is a little crazy. <laughs> like suddenly I'm on the boyfriend's side. <laughs> We're going to the cabin in the woods, and suddenly I'm frightened. Uh huh. It, it's a little maniacal. It's gi- it's giving maniacal. It yes, it really is. Conveniently. The cabin was two hours away, and I told them we would have to drive separately because I was planning to get there before them to set up a big surprise. That afternoon, the movers came and grabbed all my stuff. I already had the key to my new apartment, so I left a box with everything he had ever given me, plus a polite note letting him know that I didn't care if he stayed in this apartment, but the landlord probably would. He had 48 hours time to get out. Oh, wow. I thought that was very generous. I walked out the door and blocked him. I do wish I could have seen his reaction. But I feel like it's better this way. I'm in a much better place. I haven't heard from my ex. But I do know he's back living in his mom's basement like before. Good riddance. Thanks again, Sandra. That, 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 was, that was a plot. Yeah. That was a thick plot. She uh, chipped at his sanity for weeks. <laughs> that, that, is, oof, that is revenge. Do you think you feel better after doing that? Like, do you really think that that... Hey, and I'm, I'm all for the tea and I'm all for the drama. And I, I want her to do what is going to make her feel better. But after you do those things, do you really think you're doing yourself a service? For me, I've always felt like revenge is short-lived. I think some people really do. I feel like you enjoy it in a moment. Yeah. But then once you, reality sets in and the smoke clears, you you feel like you just you let them take you to a place you probably shouldn't have went. This wouldn't do anything for me. I would really have felt better if I had just dumped him on the spot and left knowing that I knew what he did and he knew what he did mm-hmm. and that I didn't stretch out the breakup longer than it needed to be. Like I went with my intuition and moved on quicker than he ever expected me to. The Burt Show.